Hello, this is Enthusiastic Steve, Mike Sitz, uh, Whiskey Victor Victor, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hawkins Radio Supplied Thunderbolt 5 8 SSD Plus Vertical Antenna for 4 meters. So let's go take a closer look at the Thunderbolt antenna and then we'll take it out mobile and give it a good old testing. The Hawkins Radio Thunderbolt 5 8 SSD Plus vertical can be horizontal antenna. This antenna is lightweight design, flexible, portable, making it ideal for SOTA or parks on the air. Uh, something you can just fold up into a haversack, take with you, go anywhere, take it on holiday with you, or put it up as a home base antenna. It works equally well. So, why 5 eighths? Why not just a quarter wave or a half wave? Well, there are subtle differences between the way wavelengths work. On a car, we tend to put a quarter wave antenna, a quarter wave whip. It seems to be fairly efficient and it uses the car as the other quarter wave to uh, produce an efficient half wave as such. Um, the 5 8 wave though has uh, lots of advantages over a quarter wave and a half wave. The radiation pattern, the RF, the way the energy goes out from this antenna is more focused lower to the ground, a much lower radiation angle. So a 5 8 wave antenna will give you further distance compared to quarter wave or a half wave. That's why I prefer using 5 8 wave antennas. A bit like a set of golf clubs, I think I've used that term before, and that is exactly as it is. If you're trying for a very long distance skip, i.e. you're trying to bounce the signal off the horizon, off the atmosphere, at the horizon or beyond, then you need something like a 5 8 wave. You can go up to a beam, but it's not practical to carry a beam antenna with you. Um, whereas a quarter wave will send uh, more the RF directly up at a steeper angle. Fantastic for sporadic E, a quarter wave works, or in a built up very urban area, uh, quarter waves work fairly well. But uh, the 5 8, if you're up on a hilltop, trying for that long distance local contacts, ground waves, or very long distance skip, the 5 8 wave antenna, in my opinion, cannot be beaten. I've previously used the uh, Viper 5 8 wave over a quarter wave dipole and had very good results. I approached um, Nigel at Hawkins Radio and I uh, said to Nigel, I said, um, will you be making a 5 8 wave like you do um, some of the other bands? And he says he hadn't done it as yet, but he wouldn't mind making one. So I requested if he could measure one out for me, give me a price that he could make one. And Nigel did. After a short period of time, um, this arrived through the post, and I am the proud owner of a 4 metre 5 8 vertical. It's a, a coaxial antenna uh, with a little the old stub there at the bottom to uh, allow the 5 8 wave to be uh, resonant and produce a good 50 ohm match. It uh, has a good SWR right across the whole band. The antenna itself is tunable by the uh, top tip section, the little bit of loop on uh, one end. The loop is, I uh, say, used to actually hook it over the top of a mast, over the top of a fiberglass pole, and you can actually uh, adjust the length of the wire if required. It comes with a very flat SWR as it is. Now, the black tape is my doing. Hawkins do a much better professional finish with uh, a blue shrink wrap, but it's fully adjustable, um, doesn't need tweaking. But being uh, enthusiastic, Steve, I couldn't leave it alone. So a quick time lapse of uh, assembling the fiberglass pole, attaching the Thunderbolt antenna, a little bit of uh, Velcro to attach it all nice and securely, and then uh, attach it to the side of the car on a little tripod, all nice and secure with a weight, it's not gonna fall over. Inside the car in a minute, and uh, we can see the antenna mast there on the uh, attached by the wing, coax cable feeds back into the car itself. And uh, the system is basically ready to go. Plug in the power supply to the radio. Uh, the radio I'm using today is a, a Tate 2000 converted for uh, amateur radio use. And it's mounted on the dashboard there. And it's down converted down to 10 watt output.
countryside is full of life the old birds are singing away out there and i'm here in the old car with the uh, newly acquired tate 2000 mark ii 170325 awaiting the start of the sunday morning net outside we've got the uh, speaker mount uh, tripod with 15 foot fiberglass fishing pole and on top of that we've got the uh, new 5 8 wave Hawkins radio uh, vertical antenna so all ready to go Sits whiskey Victor Victor uh, M6WVV mobile five and nine, very nice up on Nelson's monument. So, to conclude, would I recommend this antenna? In short, yes, it performs, it does exactly as it's designed. Very good low SWR across the range. It's very easy to carry, it's very quick to put up under a fiberglass pole. It will last, it's well made, well constructed, and it does perform. So, thumbs up. Thank you, Hawkins. It is a fantastic 5 8 wave, wave vertical antenna. I look forward to many years' use out of it. And, um, yeah, 73s. While well, you're coming through, uh, actually, loud and clear, as I say, a little bit of crackly, but you say you're in your garden, you're portable. What about your location? Yes, OK, Steve. Um, I'm in... Um I'm in Abridge, just uh, just to the north, north, let me get it right. Well, it's north of Romsey and a little bit west, basically, Abridge. Yeah, but today I've just ventured out and I'm up on top of Portsdown Hill itself, not far from Fort Nelson, where um, Nelson's Monument is. Oh, great. Oh, good. Nice to see you making use of the nice day and you've got a bit of height there. Um, oh, that's really good. Yeah. Port Nelson, okay, this is, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in the garden, actually, um, and I'm just working um, a um, mobile antenna off a biscuit tin, you know, and it's stuck up about six foot in Fantastic. the air. I have, He's low I'm down. Testing, uh, He's an antenna a rig, with biscuit which, tin. Well, I'm trying to find out a cause of interference, source of interference to this rig uh, in my shack, and uh, it's driving me fairly bonkers, so I thought I'd isolate the rig and bring it down the, uh, bring it down to the garden. Anyway, you're coming through fine, about, about a five and a four or something like that. 